morning children now today in science we are going to discuss types of leaves okay but before that you need to understand two terms axle and axillary bud now what do you mean by the term axle a x i l axle now look here on the board this is a stem right and this is a leaf stalk and this is a leaf okay so what is an axil axil actually it is the angle okay you must have done angle in geometry so this is an axil here is the angle between the stem and the leaf stalk so this is called leaf stalk so the angle between the leaf stalk or leaf, the another name of leaf stalk is petiole so the angle between the petiole and the stem this angle is called axil all right then the another term is axillary bud now axillary bud is you know what is a bud a part of a plant the a small bud which forms at the junction between the stem and the petiole so here if there is a small bud formed at the junction between the stem and the leaf stalk then this part this bud is called what axillary bud okay now the types of leaves now if you see the types of leaves then the leaves are of two types one is simple leaf and the other one is a compound leaf now what is a simple leaf now simple leaf it is a single leaf which is never divided into leaflets okay now again what do you mean by the term leaflets now leaflets means it resembles the entire leaf the leaflets it looks like a leaf only but they these leaflets they do not arise from the stem okay so out here this is a leaflet okay so these are the leaf which arises not from this is a stem but not from the stem but from the petiole so the small leaves arises from the petiole that type of leaf are called leaflets so now we are discussing simple leaf so simple leaf they are not divided into leaflets and they are a single leaf and they arise from the stem all right but in some plants like uh, prickly poppy or cotton plant they are also a simple they are, they have also simple leaves but in their case the leaves they have incisions now incisions means the small cut in the leaves but the cuts are not too deep to reach the midrib now let me show you out here incisions means suppose this is a mid rib and now here these are incisions incisions which are not too deep enough to reach the mid rib so this type of leaf are also simple leaf where the incisions are not too deep so some of the simple leaf they have incisions and the examples of simple leaf are uh, the leaves of the plants like guava mango peepal etc all right now the next type of leaf we are going to discuss is compound leaf and one thing in simple leaf since the leaf they arise from the stem so the simple leaf they have axillary bud axillary bud is present in simple leaves okay so let me show you i have a uh, this is the leaves of guava so guava it is an example of a simple leaf and they do arise from the stem not from the petiole and this is a simple leaf now compound leaf in case of a compound leaf now compound leaves are divided clearly into leaflets or compound leaves they have uh, in, uh, incisions which are deep enough to cut 
the midrib or to reach the midrib. So the compound leaves they have they are divided into leaflets. Okay, but compound leaves since they do not arise from the stem, they arise from the petiole, so they do not have axillary bud. And the examples of compound leaf are the leaves of the plants like rose, neem, gulmohar, etc. Okay, so I have one leaf out here. This is a compound leaf, a type of fern, and you can see the leaflets out here right leaflets which uh, the incisions are so deep or the leaf are clearly divided into leaflets but they arise from the petiole not from the stem so this is a compound leaf okay now the next term we are going to discuss is venation now what is venation the term venation now you have already learned about the different parts of a leaf right so where one of the part of a leaf is veins and venlets isn't it so which part is a vein and which part is a venlet suppose let me draw the leaf out here right this is a midrib then from the midrib lateral branches arises these are veins and these veins are further branched out to form venlets so these are veins and venlets you have already learned this isn't it isn't it so so what is venation then so venation it is the distribution distribution of veins and venlets on the lamina so on the whole lamina how these veins and venlets are distributed this is this distribution of veins and venlets on the lamina is called venation and if you see the types of venation then there are two types of venation one is reticulate And the other one is parallel. Let me write it out here. Other one is parallel venation. Now, what is reticulate venation? The term reticulate means, the meaning of the term reticulate is net-like. Okay, so even when the veins and venlets are irregularly distributed over the entire lamina, then that forming a network, that type of venations are called reticulate venation. So you can see this is how the veins and venlets are distributed irregularly over the entire lamina forming a network. So these type of venations are called reticulate venation. Okay, then what is parallel venation? Now you can see parallel venation in the leaves of the plants like grass, wheat or you can see it in uh, banana also. Right? So, what is parallel venation? In parallel venation, the veins, they run parallel to each other. They don't form a network like structure, they, but they run parallel to each other. Okay, that is parallel venation. And in the leaves of the plants like grass and wheat, the vein runs parallel from the base of the leaf to the apex. And in the leaves of the plants like banana, then the veins, they uh, arise laterally from the midrib. They run laterally from the midrib. So this is parallel venation. Okay, so thank you children.